That's me, y'all. That's me. I had it painted for nine years. Ended up finding this man sitting a block away from my house, known by everybody in the city, but nobody really knew him. And from like within my heart, I just asked him, hey, Matthew, would it be okay if I painted your portrait? The paintings are extremely dignified. They're full of life, full of color, full of hope, full of joy. And as a result, I think it's uh, helped a lot of people see their neighbors differently. We sell the artwork and then we use the money to help them out. I'm reading about loving people, and I hear my neighbor outside of my window, this man experiencing homelessness. This is my neighbor, and I don't even know his name. I said, we gotta change. We gotta do this differently. The aim was to uh, help our neighbors get them off the streets. A lot of those things happened. We were able to help a lot of people. The amount of messages that I've received of like, hey, you helped me see my neighbor. I looked at your painting and then I looked at my neighbor and I'm seeing with new eyes. On the spaces of Santa Ana, it became faces of mankind, which encapsulates other cities. After that first talk, um, if you're feeling right in your own heart that it's time to ask them to paint their portrait, I always tell people, okay, that's what you should do. So they say yes, ask them questions about their life that would make them smile or make their eyes smile. I take a bunch of photographs back to my studio and paint them. How can I take off my human eyes and see with the eyes of my heart? Getting into all the stories they've told me, all the pains, all the hurts, and then all the hopes and dreams. And my aim is to, to give them something that they can feel real about they would look at that and say, that is me. We, we find people often in darkness. Sometimes I'll ask them, hey, what color do you want me to paint you in? I can't tell you how many people have said gray. If they're experiencing darkness, how can I paint with light? I wanna change that narrative from the inside out. How can I wipe away the darkness and introduce them to light? When Kimberly's painting sold, she said, hey, Brian, my daughter's in trouble. She's not able to meet rent this month. Can I use some of the money from my painting to pay my daughter's rent? And she handed the check to her daughter. And that exchange of her giving the check, she's crying and her mom's crying. She said, this is the first time in my life I feel like my mother has been able to help me. And I got to witness that. Everybody want my painting? Yes, you want it? No. 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 <laughs> Portraits have sold. <laughs> Come to find out there's some of the most generous people, some of the most hospitable people. So many things that I think lead us to our destiny and our purpose are on the other side of fear. If you can break through that fear wall and love on the other side of that wall, there's something really special for your life.